We're here with uh, Art Dutra, who's been working on the linear elevator prototype. Um, Art, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've come up with? What were some of the goals? Uh, How did you approach this problem? So one of, the, one of the most important things in this game, obviously, is stacking. Now, stacking, by its very nature, is a very vertical nature. You're picking things up and putting them down. Now, there, there's two main ways that robots can manipulate objects in the vertical orientation. There's arms and then there's elevators. Now arms, unless it's a four bar, have a problem where as the arm rotates around, if it's holding an object, the object will rotate with the arm. So it's one that's low, it's gonna be pointing down. When it's high, it's pointing up. Now a four bar can solve that. However, a four bar has a problem where because it makes an arc as it goes, when you are lower or medium or high, the object you're trying to stack is a different distance away from your robot. This can be really difficult for drivers to get used to and stack. So the simplest way for drivers to deal with stacking an object is something that deals with purely vertical linear motion. So an elevator uh, of some kind is very important for teams to work with this year or consider. So one of the things I've been working on is looking at ways to make a VersaFrame elevator um, for teams that, can, that they can use. Now, of the elevators, there are two different kinds. One of the kinds of elevator you can uh, create lifts things up to the top of the stack. And then every time you go higher, your elevator has to get taller and taller and taller to get to the top of the stack. The other option you could do for stacking is you could pick up the entire stack and lift the entire existing stack and put it on one toe. With this option, your elevator has to lift a heavier load, but your elevator can be really short. It only has to lift the height of one toe. However, if you would like to cooperate, which is a very nice 40 points per match, if you get the stack of four, the elevator has to go slightly taller. So what I've been working on is a elevator that you can mount a bottom stacker, some might call an infinite stacker on, but can also reach high enough to take an existing stack of totes and drop it onto a, one existing toe on the platform. So if your alliance had a stack of three and the other alliance dropped one toe on a step, you can drop your stack of four onto the step to get a full cooperation bonus. Well, actually this is revision five of the prototypes that I have been working on. This revision uses the new VexPro clamping gearbox right here. This gearbox uses a single sim and a single reduction and clamps onto a piece of two by one tubing. What I'm doing here is I'm also using a new product, the plastic VersaBlock from VexPro, which is a more lightweight version of the metal VersaBlock that we've had from West Coast Products last year. What this is doing is we are using this to do a single stage reduction, and then another reduction in roller chain right here. And then this roller chain is on the same shaft here, which has this big loop. This loop has a carriage that can move. This carriage is bolted to the roller chain. You can actually put bolts through roller chain to attach a mechanism to it. I'm using 35 pitch roller chain this year because teams, it's much easier for teams to work with 35 pitch chain than 25 pitch chain. With 25 pitch chain, you would have to use 440 screws. With 35 pitch chain, you can use 832 screws to attach through it. And with, if you're potentially lifting a stack of six bins and a garbage can, that's almost 60 pounds you have to deal with. So it's very important this year that you try to make your robots very reliable and very robust. So, as you... Can you, can you go into a little more detail maybe um, on the, it looks like the track mechanism looks pretty interesting. Are those spacers riding up and down the rail or how's that? Yeah, so on the track mechanism, what we yeah. have here, the main uh, rotary, I mean linear to rotary motion is these bearings. So these bearings are very similar to what some might call the cheesy poof elevator. The bearings run along the outside of the tubing. And that is what creates a nice smooth ride as you go up and down the elevator. So there's bearings on the outside, there's bearings on the inside, and then there's bearings on the other side as well back here. Now, there's two towers. So because you have a C on each side, and because we have these crossbars on our to be determined manipulator of our choice. This ties the two sides together. So this entire carriage will go up and down on the elevator. It's just like a roller coaster track. Yes. With wheels on each side. Yeah, so this is fully captured. This yeah. cannot fall off the elevator. Um, and the, the other thing that I've shown here, it's not necessarily required, but 
in my experience, I've found it's very helpful for elevators when you're dealing with very heavy objects, such as a stack of bins, is I have a loop of chain on each side. This, this, is what ha this helps sometimes if you only have an elevator, you're only powered on one side. When you try lifting up, the whole thing kind of gets a little crooked. So when you're dealing with light objects, such as you know tubes from 2011, which is the last time that many teams used elevators, it was you could power off one side because tubes are very light. But with stack of bins, you don't you want to make sure you don't have that rocking motion. So that's why I'm powering both sides of the elevator with chain. So it looks like this is made almost entirely out of uh, VersaFrame and other Vex Pro gearboxes and motors. But I see a couple brackets on the side there that aren't in the current VersaFrame library. Can you talk about those? That's true. Well, almost everything here is existing Versa frame products. We have four new flat sheet metal plates that are designed specifically to help facilitate linear motion. We have one plate here, which you can mount bearings to on either side to roll on the outside of two by one tubing. We have another bracket here designed to mount bearings to run along the inside of a two by one tubing. We have this plate here, which is designed for three eighth inch space in here so that you can put bolts through roller chain and attach that to your elevator to transfer the torque from your motors to actually lift the elevator stage. And then to help make it easier to bolt onto the chain, we have a plate here which is wider than the roller chain itself to ensure that your bolts stay per perpendicular to the roller chain. That's awesome. And will these uh, be included in the VersaFrame lineup in the near, the near future? We will be prototyping these parts tomorrow and we, if everything goes well, which we expect, then teams can likely have these for this year. Awesome. Thank you so much, Art.